3D printing is one of the fastest moving technologies in the world and was recently named as one of six technologies most likely to reshape the global economy. I'm here today in New York at MakerBot's headquarters to take an exclusive behind the scenes look at one of the most exciting companies in the 3D printing space. When we originally put the MakerBot Innovation Center together, it was intended that employees would put their MakerBots in here, but all of the employees instead wanted their MakerBots on their desk. So this really became a center for uh, enterprise, for business, for our customers, for our retail partners. We created a 3D ecosystem to make 3D printing easy and accessible for everyone. Everybody wants something that's 3D printed. So this is MakerBot Print Shop. With the, your finger, you can decide what texture you would like the bracelet to be, what size, how if it's all the way around or not. Uh, if you're small, medium, or large. And then when you're done with that, you just save it and print. So MakerBot started five and a half years ago as a kit 3D printer. It was used by, by hobbyists and tinkerers and people passionate about bringing an object to life that can bring other objects to life. And it was a, a relatively small market, but a very passionate one. And what we found is after we moved away from just selling kits and actually selling fully made, 3D printers that you could um, have delivered and operate pretty much right out of the box, that the, the uses and the needs for it also changed. Now we're selling to uh, some consumers, uh, a lot of what we call prosumers, using MakerBots primarily at work or also in an educational setting, but it's also bridging the use to their homes. My background is about eight years of running a small design firm here in New Jersey. I was kind of looking for a reason to buy a 3D printer. I was on the fringe, I was reading about it, and there's a company called Square, and you put this in the headphone jack. I used to be in a rock band and in, in rock and roll clubs every night. I'm swiping cards to sell t-shirts and CDs, and I was doing a lot of business, and this was spinning around, and I said, there must be an easy way to fix this. So I fashioned this. If I put it between the two, it doesn't spin anywhere and you don't have bad card swipes and I found a, a nice solution for something that was needed. And we can do this at home with MakerBots and from this then it jumped into other businesses and now I do this full time. We found large Fortune 500 companies buying MakerBots to use at work for something that is, is being known as real-time prototyping. So what that means is a, an engineer, an architect, or a designer could have an idea, could create a 3D model of it on their, on their computer and actually prototype and create and print that object in real time within a couple of minutes to a few hours. So by being able to empower people to make and to create at their desktop, we're giving them a way to bring their ideas to life in ways that they never have before and help them innovate faster. I took a trip to China to get injection molding in all the normal ways and it turned out that it was going to be very expensive for an independent dad in New Jersey to do that so uh, I found out that I could buy a MakerBot for $2,000 instead of having molds made for $6,000 and I could make anything. When Apple changed the dimensions of the iPhone, I would have to go back and have a new mold made for another $6,000. Instead, it took about 15 minutes to change the dimensions of the square helper and I'm popping out new ones with really no effort. There is some magic number to go to injection molding. If I needed to make more than 10,000 pieces identical, then maybe injection molding would be a better solution for me. Uh, but for me, I like to do like 100 pieces in a certain color or a certain size. So for, for the independent artist or sculptor, this is really a great thing because I can do it's so much flexibility. So I have the spools of filament above each machine, feeds right down into it, and it's kind of like a hot glue gun putting out hot glue layer by layer, and that's how it builds up this, this Yoda. Um, so I have an assortment of filament, a couple machines, and they're running 20 hours a day. And I can get probably about 20 of these Yodas out of one spool. A spool costs about $30, so it's quite economical. Um, and uh, they look great. Three printing is fundamentally changing the way that we think. 
It changes the way that we design, it changes the way that we bring products to market, and it changes the way that kids will develop their careers from an educational perspective and also into a professional perspective. Small children, you can be eight, nine, ten years old, sometimes younger, sometimes older, when they see a MakerBot printing, they're mesmerized. They're hooked. They see what it's doing and they just can't stop looking at it. And this hook with them, it brings them into STEM education, science, technology, engineering, math, there's also arts in there, it's called STEAM, in ways that before just simply weren't possible. So imagine a, a nine-year-old being able to do that for the first time. And we've seen this also especially with, with uh, little girls who before had no interest at all in science and in technology, in, in math, it just wasn't their orientation. And they start to learn how to work with a MakerBot, how to work with 3D printing, and they're hooked in a way that they had never been before. I wish I knew where 3D printing as an industry is going. I wish I had a crystal ball to tell you exactly where it's going to be. Um, we have an idea in the next uh, year or two where we think that the 3D printing world will be, but five years out, the, the magic about this, the exciting part about this is we don't know exactly. We don't know how this will impact the world, how this will change companies, how this will change the lives of kids who are learning about 3D printing in schools. And because we don't know, that sense of wonder and that excitement around it is really palpable.